My name is Gina Aquilano. I'm the Technology Director for the Automotive Business Unit here at Analog Devices. My role is to drive future growth through advanced uh, R&D, as well as taking a look at system level initiatives um, that make an impact. The battery life cycle is a great example of the circular economy. Lithium ion batteries are manufactured from raw materials, such as nickel, cobalt, and lithium, which are mined from the earth. These battery cells are then grouped into modules and then assembled into packs to power electric vehicles. After its life in electric vehicles, the battery can either be recycled or reused in a next life application, such as energy storage. Without these sustainable waste management practices, you generate uh, mountains of battery waste and eventually deplete the earth of natural materials. Battery reuse programs can provide lower cost of storage for green energy like solar and wind, allowing for off-grid electricity to be available um, anywhere in the world. When you start thinking about reuse versus recycling, in the reuse path, that's going to give you the better sustainability because you're not using raw materials. Instead, you're creating those systems from used batteries. Reuse will yield the lowest carbon footprint and still allow for recycling later in life. So it's the most sustainable path for the circular economy. What would happen globally if we don't have any recycling or reuse program is sad to imagine. If there's no alternative, they're gonna end up in landfills. And that's quickly going to create large scale problems of battery waste. The sustainable electrification ecosystem is not too far in the future. The electrification trends are really accelerating. By 2030, maybe 25% of new vehicles coming on the market will be electric. So we'll already start to experience the cleaner air, the quieter roads. So 2040, 10 years after those batteries are done with the EV, you're going to see more and more um, be used um, for de decentralized energy storage, enabling more green options like wind and solar. I'm really an environmentalist at heart. Preserving nature and the environment, they're both so important and critical. Recycling and reuse programs are really important to me and my family because we want to take care of the planet. 